Okay, now that you have the basic overall idea of how the template works, let's take a look at how you can customize it and add more functionality and more options inside of it. So the first thing we'll take a look at is changing your theme. And we have the theme selector right up here. And then you can try them out. You'll see the changes real time. So you can see if it's something you like or not. So depending on what you're selling would depend on the theme that you use. You just use this one for now, even though it's kind of a Halloween theme. Here you have your holiday theme options here, so you can see all of the holiday themes at once. Actually, I'm not going to leave it on the holiday theme. So you can change your theme there. And then after we have themes, we have a lot of different options for widgets over here. So all you have to do to add any of these is you just drag and drop them wherever you want. So I'm just going to quickly go through them and tell you what each of them are. The form widget will collect information and you can easily Anytime you drag and drop it, then the options is going to come open. Now for the integrations, you're going to have to have the paid version. So I'll show you a way that you can still use your forms without using their forms like that. So you don't have to use the paid ones. Okay, so that was the form widget. Now you have a poll where you can ask people to pick an answer newsletter sign up, login, so people can log in via Facebook or a mobile login button, voting widget, and this is good for photo contest and video contest or any type of essay contest or any contest that you would have. It allows people to vote on the different things. Image widget, just drag and drop it for another image. Link widgets, text, a gallery, product widget countdown for scarcity so this is cool entry count widget will show people how many entries people have made and then we have a share widget for people to share comments if you want to add facebook comments inside like button instagram widget video widget twitter soundcloud rss Flickr, foursquare google maps newsletter from mailchimp iframe widget flash widget Two column layout. So if you decide you want two columns or three columns, you can just drag the columns to where you want it and then it'll add two columns. So you see here we now have the two columns and if I want I can drag that one into there for my like box. I didn't fill out any of the information, that's why it's empty. If I wanted to add a video widget on this side, then I can add my URL would add my video widgets would add my video widgets there so that's how you get two column and if you want to do three column you could do three column right there now action widgets are cool they are widgets that allow something to happen when a certain action takes place but you don't add these by dragging and dropping them it can only be added to the edit widgets panel and you can get to the edit widgets panel by clicking right here and then you just drag the action widget into there and now you set what is the trigger and what is the action so for example if the user logs in via facebook then what's going to happen so when you have the login button there if they log in via facebook then the hem header image it will show or hide or scroll to so you can have different things show or hidden depending on the person's action here it has which where the action is going to take place so if it's the main message and you can see which of these uh, main message or what all of these stand for if you look here 
So when I click on my main message, if I click on view, it means everyone can see it. What's the background? Enable comments, visibility, desktop only, mobile only, visible on Facebook, styling. And so you have each of your things here and you can see when you highlight it, it shows what it is. So that one is a header image. This one is the main message. This one is a featured product. This one is the featured product. So for example, if I wanted the product hidden until someone took action, or if I wanted a bonus hidden or a training video hidden or a coupon hidden, or anything like that until someone takes an action, then I use the action widget. So the action widget can get a little bit complicated. It's not complicated, but it would take a bit of explaining to go in depth and it's not necessary for your Amazon shop. It just adds cool options if you're using it for landing pages or for sales funnels or for collecting leads or opt-ins, or if you're having a contest then the action widget is very cool. And then we have our Google Analytics widget, our plain text widget for plain text HTML or an embedded widget code from another site, and a code widget for rich text or plain text, and a container for grouping related widgets, and Again, we got the two column. I already mentioned that before. So you can see it's pretty easy. Anytime you want something new added, or let's say I wanted uh, a row with two rows of products or three rows of products, then I can drag this to where I want it. No, actually, I just added it to the bottom of that. So let me make sure I add it down here. Okay, so then I just drag my products in there, my product widgets. And you see how I had added the other product widgets here. I guess you could do use that for recommended products like People who bought that also liked and then link it to another product. And so that is it. You've got everything you need here to build your shop and add a lot of different cool features and try to engage people in different ways in your shop. And since it's on Facebook, people are going to trust it more than if it's on another website. So in the next video, I'm going to cover how to create a image and all the metadata for your link so that when you share the link to your shop, all of the information that you want is going to show up correctly and the image that you want is going to appear. Because if you don't add that metadata, then when you share the link, nothing is going to appear, no image, no text, no nothing like that. And that's not good. You want to be able to share the link and have the description, the app description appear with the image of your choosing. So in the next video, I am going to show you how